In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a professional looking landing page like this and these kind of pages can make you up to $400 per week with CPA marketing. And if you don't know what CPA marketing means, it means cost per acquisition or cost per action, which means you get someone to download an app, submit their email, their zip code or whatever, and then you get paid. They don't have to buy anything for you to make money. All right. So without further ado, let's jump right to the video. All right. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create these kind of pages. All right. And I'm also going to show you how to make money with this type of pages. All right. And we are going to be using QR code to make money with these pages. Yes, with QR code. And for those who don't know what QR code is, this is what they look like. And I'm going to be showing you with a slick strategy how you can use this QR code to make a lot of money with CPA marketing. Like this is a game changer. All right, so let's jump right into the how to make these landing pages first. Then I'm going to show you how to make, how to use the QR codes to make money with CPA marketing. All right, so first of all, I'm going to show you how to make this type of landing page, right? First thing first, what you need to do, if you scroll down, if you look at the page carefully, we can see it says elegant headset store. And if you look at the left top corner of the page, you can see there is a logo right there. And if you look at under this header, behind the header, you will see there is a, there is a headset there. And you can see it has featured products right and you can see the products it also has a limited time offer badge and you can see there's a lot of scarcity included in this page which means you have a lot of chances of making people complete your cpa offers right so the better your your landing page looks the higher the chances that you will get people to convert and you and in turn you make money all right so once someone stumble upon this page and they click on any of these products right this product says they get 50 percent for the first 20 customers only and you can see it has a scarcity there saying only one left in stock so once they click on this image right the image of this product they get taken to your content locker and once they complete the offer, they get this product. And one, what you want to do is, instead of keeping the whole thing blank, you should redirect them to a specific to this exact product because I got this product from Amazon, right? If you go to Amazon, right? Let's quickly go to Amazon and let's search for headset. Because I literally got those, as you can see exactly, you can see this exact image. I got it from Amazon. So basically what you want to do is you want to look at the product of this um, headset, right? This headset says $13. Although I use $10 here, right? So basically if, for example, if the headset costs $20, right if the headset cost ten dollars my bad all right so basically what you want to do is you want to put twenty dollars as the original price on your page and then you would say you're giving 50 percent of because once they complete this offer you want to redirect them back to this page where they'll get the actual page right yeah they'll get the actual price of the product so they won't be disappointed after completing the offer right because you don't want to send them to any random page you are better off sending them to the to the original page of this product right just like i said and i will reiterate again if this product originally cost ten dollars you want to put on your locker twenty dollars and you give a discount of fifty percent which makes it ten dollars which will be the original price of the product i hope that is clear all right so 
let's go on and design this page all right so first thing you want to do is you want to log into your google account and then type in site dot new and i must also say this is completely free you are not paying for absolutely nothing to get this page up and running all right first thing you want to do is create you want to add a banner to this page behind this in this page right so you click on this change image and you can upload your image whatever image you have you can also upload a gif file as you can see it looks so subtle and calm you can upload a gif file as well and you can also choose the type of layout you want if you want it to be a cover if you want the banner to be large however you want it feel free to customize it your way all right so let's change the image to the original image i used you click on that this is the exact image i use and i got this image from google and what you want to do is type in headset banner hq which means high quality all right and you can look at the search result and choose amongst the choose amongst them the one you prefer and as you can see this was the exact one that i used right you can download it okay so let's go back to the page so we have the header now and as you can see it looks a little bit bright and that is because of this adjustment here so we can click on that to make it to make it retain the original color all right so let's go back to the page and see okay I've left the page. Let me go back. Sorry. All right, this is the page. Okay. Yes, you can see what you want to do is let me go to a new tab so I can start afresh. All right, like I said, let's quickly upload the image. All right, so we have it here. So, and here it says elegant stores, yeah? Yours can be whatever you want it to be, all right? It can be whatever you want it to be. You can paste that in there instead of using elegant we can use unique, unique headset store. All right. So want to adjust this to the center. All right. So everything looks good now. All right. The next thing you want to do is add in your images. So these are examples at the right corner of the page. Then you want to go for this. All right. So, and then you choose your image. And also you must have downloaded all the images from the Amazon website. Oh, okay, I deleted that. That's it. All right. So as you can see, there are a lot of headsets on Amazon, a lot of it. So you should grab all the pictures of 
images you want to of all the ad sets you want to list on your landing page right so these were the ones i downloaded so then you come here and you upload the images that was the first image and you want to click on this on crop to make it fit perfectly and click on the next one upload the second image and the same thing you want to click on on crop okay i made a mistake i should have actually used this template instead that has this picture icon that has three of it i should have used that instead of these two so if you are you don't really have to use three exactly just like i did here you don't have to use three you know if you want to list two products you can actually list as many products as you want all right so for this example i'll continue with the two that i used that i started with so you can just replicate the same process for as many products as you want to list on the page so the next thing now if you go back and look at what we can have you can see we have this limited time offer here in google site there's no way you can create that for now at the time of recording this video you can't create you can't create a what is it called this limited time offer i had to create it on a on my phone using pixel lab app so basically i created it on my phone i'll actually put i'll actually leave the template in the description for you to download for free so it's, it's, a, it's a png file so what we are going to do we are going to import it so we'll come down here We'll come up here and click on this image upload and we look for where the limited time offer image is right and then we want to bring it up just right under this headphone this headset as you can see and you can also adjust it however you like just make sure you adjust it properly and, and uh, just make sure you align it properly. All right. As you can see, you can also zoom it if you want. I think it looks, I'm happy with this. All right. It's okay. I think it looks good maybe to the left to the right a little bit perfect all right so what else do we have on the page as you can see the name of the headset you want to include that as well so let's copy and then we'll paste it beneath the limited time of our image and you want to center this all right looks good and the next thing we want to copy here is this price the original price and the discounted price i know some might be wondering how i made this right so i'm going to show how i made this let me just type it in let me cancel this it's confusing me all right okay Let's say the price you want to use ten dollars all right and then you want to bold it bold it and increase it it looks too small all right good right then you want to enter you want to click on enter then you type the next number which is 20 
twenty dollars, and then you want to highlight that, and you click on this three dots at the extreme right, and then you click on this strike through, and then you see it's going to strike that. All right. Also, you want to change the color to make it stand out. Maybe you want to highlight it first. Maybe a little bit gray. All right. And also, you want to highlight it again and then change the font size. So, God, that's too small. Let's say 14, maybe. Maybe 14. And then you want to push it to the right a little bit. All right, as you can see, it's just as we have here $10, $20. Right? Good. So let's go on. And then want to copy this, this text here. Also, feel free to make any adjustment you like with this with this text. Feel free to do any adjustment you want. So you want to create another text text box. You paste that in there. Then you bring this here. Align it to the center. And you want to reduce that. You want to make sure it's perfectly aligned with the page. All right, you can see it's perfectly aligned. Although this wasn't the exact way I made it here, but I just discovered now that that's this is also another way you can make it. The actual way that I made it was I made this this text, right? I copied the text. Let me cut it. And then from the heading of the name of the product, then I entered and then paste it there. Then you copy this text underneath and you click okay let's cut that out too cut it and boom as you can see either way works so you can go on use using the first method i used or you can use this one as well all right so that's how you make you make this kind of page and you have to that is how you are going to replicate this same process for these other images, these other two as well. So let's quickly, how do you replicate it, right? You want to copy this image. You press Ctrl C on your, on your keyboard and you press Ctrl V. Oh, I copied the whole thing. All right, so you just want to make sure when you are copying is just this box. All right, as you can see, I made a mistake earlier. It copied the whole thing, but you want to make sure only this box is highlighted. Control C and Control V. As you can see, it's at the top. They want to move it down just right under beneath the second product. All right. So. just on that product. So the next thing we want to do now is, you can actually move this up a little bit to align it with the other product. All right. So the next thing we need to do is, you want to type in the name of the product. All right, copy it, copy that. You paste it in there and you want to justify it to the center. All right, just like this, 
you don't need to repeat you just need to copy this enter paste it in there and you can edit make changes to these figures however you want and then you copy this paste it in this last box and you can also make changes to this text however you want all right you don't need to use this exact exact write up that i use you can actually edit it edit it anyhow you like all right so let's adjust this to fit okay looks good to me so let's preview the page and let's see what we have you want to click on that that icon all right as you can see this is what the page looks like so far and this is what you want to click on this here this icon down here to see what it will look like on a mobile phone as you can see it's coming out clean that's awesome all right so let's x out of that and continue with the page so the next thing you want to do on the page is the description of the product just like i made here as you can see if you click on if you click on this down button it will show you the disc although this is not the correct description of the product but you want to make sure you're writing the correct description of the product so how do we make this kind of collapsible description all right so we'll come back to to the google site page and then you want to scroll down click on this collapsible collapsible text you want to copy the name you want to copy this product so you can see here oh. you want to copy that you paste it in there right and you click on this box beneath beneath this click on that like I said this is just this is not the correct description of this product but I'm just going to use it just to save time all right as you can see if you click out of it you can see it's now a collapsible text if you click on that it reveals the details and this makes the page looks a lot neat right and if you notice if you notice this page is kind of the description is kind of wide there are a lot of spaces there so you want to clean erase that to make it even more neater all right now it looks perfectly clean so you want to repeat the same process for this other description and remember you can edit whatever you want you don't have to use the exact text that i use feel free to be creative but these are what i know would actually work if you use them so you can actually make make some changes or you can use them as they are it will still work perfectly so let's go for the last one we we'll click on copy that and then we we'll click on collapsible again click on this paste it in there uh, I guess I didn't copy that copy then we paste it in there we erase that and then we copy this same description but like I said previously you want to make sure the description is actually correct and how do you get the description is simple all you need to do is once you click once you click on the product you want to you want to lock they have the description here on Amazon all you need to do is copy the correct description from Amazon and paste it in there right and also you don't need to use only Amazon 
you can use aliexpress if you want you can actually use virtually any website that sells products so you don't have to use only amazon all right so that is how you make this kind of clean page and also i'll also let you know one last tip that will make you stand out all right and this tip is going to be adding a logo just like i did in the original page but well, let me publish let me view the exact page the published version let me delete this as you can see there's a logo at the top here it makes it look now also it has a favicon at the top here unlike this boring google site logo you can see it has its own unique just like if you are browsing any other browser you can see this is for google this favicon is for amazon so it makes your site look more legit and people and the more people feel your site is legit the more they trust the site and the more they'll actually do whatever you want them to do on the site all right so this is how you make this kind of beautiful landing page you can see it didn't take long for us to make this page all right so it's actually simple pretty pretty simple to make also i forgot to add this featured product i just saw that now so how to add that is also pretty simple you want to copy that and then you click on this you scroll up and click on this text box once you click that you can see it brought the text to the bottom of the page you paste that in and you justify it putting it in the center and you want to you look you see some kind of like dots in the center you want to hold that and move it way to the top where you want it to be and as you can see it's now at the center of the page and looks clean right so here is how you change you had the logo and this favor icon to it all right so let's add the logo once you click on that upload your logo and you want to choose your logo upload it as you can see it appears right and i'm going to show you maybe in another video i'm going to show you how to create this simple simple logo right i'm going to show that in another video how to create that without having to pay anyone to make your logo although if you have the money to pay a designer then go for it also the favor icon the same thing but i want to use this version of the logo and also i made these logos myself all right okay so let's look let's preview the website and see what it looks like so far all right this is what it looks like as you can see the logo is at the top it makes it look professional and clean so once you scroll down as you can see the limited time offer the name of the product the prices the scarcity call to action here as you can see everything is perfect on the page so basically this is all you need to do to make your page unique all right and as for the favor icon until you publish the website you won't be able to see see the favor icon only when the website is live all right so this is what our landing page looks like on a mobile device so let's see what it looks like on a tablet as you can see it looks super clean right let's see what it looks like on a, on a pc the same thing and if there's anything you need to adjust you can always go back you can always x out of this and make whatever adjustments you want and make sure you preview the website before you publish it all right so once you are done and everything is ready all right so you want to name the website since this one is unique unique headset
you can actually go on to unique continue the name to unique headset store but i'll keep it as short as possible all right so once you've done that then you click on the publish once you are done with everything and you are, you are happy with what the page looks like you click on the publish button and google will give you the opportunity to rename the website whatever you want although it's going to be the last the last part of the website this is the only part you can actually rename you can as long as the name is not taken you can actually use the name all right so unique headset is quite okay with me so let's click on publish and click on view boom as you can see the website is now live unique headset store this can be whatever you want it to be it can be about it can be a pet store it can be a teach t-shirt store it could be a bag store it could be whatever you want it to be it could be whatever you want it to be just like there are a lot of stores on amazon there are a lot of products you know ranging from gadgets to bags to whatever it is so there are a lot of stores on amazon that you can look out look and you can uh, post their products here and the last thing we need to do the last thing we need to do to keep everything clean is to add our locker to these images so once someone comes to this page as you can see, you can see the favor icon I mentioned earlier. You can see it at the top of the page. So you want to make, you want to try. It's not compulsory, but it's awesome if you have it there. You know, the more trust, like I said, the more people feel your site is trustworthy, the more they will likely convert and you make money. So the next thing we want to do is we want where we are going to direct this um, our visitors to. Once they come to this page so the next thing we need to do we need to go to cpa grip to do that so this is my cpa grip account and i've already made an example so this is what the content locker looks like all right so once you once you you've made your locker okay i'm going to show you how to make this type of lock click on this as you can see this is the landing page. This is the content locker. This is where we want to direct our visitors to. All right. So I'm going to leave the CSS code and the HTML code. All right. So basically, there are things you need to change. You actually need to change two things, which is going to be as you can see this h1 which says this odaban gaming etc you want to look for it in this code in the html all right so once you get there you can highlight it and make sure you are highlighting only the name you don't want to highlight these other symbols just the text and then you want to add whatever it is you want unique headset and click on refresh as you can see it changes all right so the second thing you want to do is after changing the name of the product you want to come down you want to scroll down a little bit just above this available for free you want to look for this link this imgo.com link and you want to stop at jpeg also you want to change this link to whatever product you are promoting although first of all you want to make sure you you've posted the link to the product on imgo all right just like i've posted here so you want to post the link 
and you grab whatever link you want all right so if okay i'm going to upload a pro an, an image real quick to show you how to to link whatever product it is you are you are promoting so you click on images and you click on add image and let's use this image as an example if that was the product you were promoting right so once you have uploaded the image to him go you click on this pencil icon so once you've clicked that so once you've clicked that then you should be able to get the link of the image then you want to make sure you are copying this link that has dot jpg you copy that and then we'll go to back to our cpa grid blocker and then you want to paste the imgur link and then refresh as you can see it changed to the new image all right and also this is another thing you want to do as well you want your my you can edit this as well to edit this you want to come back to this general and then this button text you can edit it to whatever you want whatever you want it to be all right you can edit it to whatever you want it to be you can delete this emojis if you don't like it but i think it looks cool and you can change the text to whatever you want if the product is maybe 70 percent discount you can change that and preview all right as you can see it remains the same and also another thing you want to edit is this text all right you can edit this text you go back to html as you can see this karen daniels you want to scroll down to you see what do you see that name you want to scroll down slowly slowly until you see the name so once you scroll down yeah this is karen daniels here right you can also change the name to whatever you want let's say karen david all right all you need to just edit is just the text don't make changes to these other symbols just the text so if we refresh we'll notice the daniel has changed to david all right just as you see karen david all right so also you want to edit this text and make it sound reasonable just like if you go to the amazon if you look at people's review on the products let's look for just like a normal person will leave a review all right if we scroll down to this product let's see if they have any review here as you can see they have a lot of they have some reviews here so what you can do is you can actually read these reviews right you can make slight changes to them and you can paste you can paste those reviews here instead of using this one all right so just look at the real reviews you can copy the, re the reviews if you want right you can copy this exact review if you want but it's going to be nice if you make some changes to the to the actual review and then you paste it here so you want to do the same process for this i mean it's just it's just five five comments so you can actually add those to that all right that will actually make your page look trustworthy because when they come to this page and they see these reviews and they see these images they will actually trust the page more all right so that's what you need to do all right so that is how you create this page so how do you link 
to your locker on this page. So you go back to, you come back here and then you click, double click on the image and then you click on this insert link. So you go back to your CPA grip and then once you have done, once you've saved everything, you get link, click on get link and then you copy, come back to the page, you paste it there. And then whenever you make changes to your page or any other, make sure you publish, you hit publish again. And you hit publish again. So once you've done that, the changes will reflect on the page. So if you refresh this page, and if we click on, if we click on this, it should redirect us. It should take us to the offer page. So let's go back and see why we are not being redirected. Okay. Let me publish again. All right. So let me click on view publish site. Good. So once you've done that, I think you have to click, come back and click on view publish site before the link will be live. So now this is the page, the unique headset store. So once we click on this, it takes us to our CPA grip locker. All right, as you can see, it takes us to the locker. So that is what you need to. And once they complete your offers, you get paid. All right, so let's go to the next landing page. All right, so the first method is actually creating a store, right? The store could be about anything, like I said previously. It could be about, about pets, it could be about t-shirts, it could be about cups, it could be about whatever you can think of. And like I said, if you want to get ideas, all you need to do is you can go to Amazon, you can go to AliExpress, to get you could, the page could act it won't be about phone case it could be about wristwatch it could be about whatever you want it's unlimited what what you can do with this method is unlimited right you can actually promote any product with this method all right so let me refresh this page real quick so like i said if you want to promote a t-shirt you can do the same so whatever you want, it's up to you. All right, so the next landing page, which is this, and this is going, we are going to use this method using PLR articles. All right, as you can look, as you can see, this page looks really simple and clean. Nothing too much, just simple, and it looks professional as well. So you, as you can see, this is going to be our CPA grip content local link this is where we are going to paste our link all right and also at the bottom here as you can see this page is about 24 hours fat burn all right so we have included some details of what to expect once they complete the locker all right so how do we create this page it's pretty simple what we need to do is go to idplr.com all right and idplr.com is a website that allows you to download plr articles for free so you scroll down to the bottom of the page they have categories that you can you can go for they have numerous categories but for the purpose of this video let's click on this else 
as you can see these are different categories so we click on this fat burning PLL so one that's open one that open up we click on the PLL so once we click on that just basically what we did we have to get these images the images we want to use for the page we have to get them so we have to download this image i've downloaded the image the image already so you want to copy this text just like i wrote here it's basically the same thing right the secret to mastering your metabolism all right let's create a site dot new that is what you need to enter to start a new page all right so as you can see we have a header here so how did i get this header so you go to once you go to the plr page you want to scroll scroll down okay we don't have it down here you have to click on this thank you page so once you click on this thank you page as you can see this is the header i used right so you want to download this header so once you download it you click on this change image upload and i already have it here so i'll upload it and you click on this to make it looks cleaner and this anchor image actually helps you reset position the image correctly the way you want it to look so once you click on this anchor image you can play around with this positioning as you can see it's going to look the way you want it to look so i think this is okay and also this header type let's make it large so you can see what it looks like to make it a cover it's even wider so let's keep it as ban i think it's better so here i don't think we need this so we can just delete this since we have the text on the banner already so that we'll go to the plr page we are done with this we can exit out x out of this and then we copy we copy the first headline and we click on this text box we paste it in there We center it just like we did here. Or a better way to do this is let's delete this. Let's use this. This was what I used. This layout so we'll have this image here. So we can have this image. On this side so i've already downloaded it and i'll upload it soon so this way we'll paste the secret to mastering your metabolism and then we'll go back to the page we copy we copy what's under it we copy that then we paste it on the page if the text is too small you can always enlarge it also you can change fonts as well what you can do with this is actually unlimited so now we paste our image upload the image like I said, I've already downloaded this image. 
so you want to adjust this by clicking on this on crop it will make it look perfect good so the next thing we are going to do is this copy the chapter they are they are going to get once they complete the the offers click on this text box we paste that in there and then we go back to the page and copy this the chapters they will receive or you can double double click on the screen to get another text box as you can see this is the same page as this so one last thing we are going to add of course is the call to action where they need to go to complete our lockers our lockers so they can download the plr so we'll copy this again and then we double tap on that if you don't want to double tap you can always click on this text box and paste this here as you can see i centered it there also we'll copy this Control C, Control O, Control C, Control So we copy this, then we create another text by double click, tapping on the screen, paste it there. Or we can, if we don't want it to look the same way like the first one we can center it if you like you can take it to the other side so it's up to the, the look you're going for so now just the same process that we use to make this headset is the same process we're going to use for this PLR so this image here is going to be this all right so this image you are going to upload this image on imgur so once you've uploaded it just like i did for the other stuff right so you do the same thing for this image as well so once you upload the image and then for here, here you don't need to use discount here you can use i want to burn fat all right so here you actually need to edit this to make it to make it make sense to the type of locker you are making which is this because this locker is for burning fat or this plr rather is for burning fat so you want to make sure your locker makes sense as well so it's the same thing you're going to do as well so once you are done with that you highlight the link And then you click on insert link and then you include your locker link below okay this is now a local link so whatever your local link is you want to include this local link below all right so that is how you can how do you get your local link once you are done with the page you've saved everything you click on get link and then you copy this link right here and paste it there so you do the same for this text below you highlight it as well and then insert the local link and remember just like i said you want to make sure the image you use on this page must be on the landing must be on your locker 
as well all right so it's pretty pretty simple you do this in less than 30 minutes you set this up up and running all right so the next page the next thing the next method is going to be giving you giving away udemy courses all right and i'm going to show you a website that you can get udemy courses for free all right and the website the website we are talking about is udemy so this is the website you are going to be promoting you are going to be getting udemy courses for free on this website and then you share it to people all right so if you are if you find the value in this video so far and you're not subscribed to the channel yet subscribe to the channel because i'll be putting out more content that will help you make money with cpa marketing and if you already subscribed to the channel i salute you thanks for the support i really appreciate that and also don't forget to turn on the notification button so you are notified whenever i drop videos like this all right so let's go on so all right once you get to this website this website is for udemy courses and as you can see these courses have a lot of views it has a lot of views as you can see this one has 50 over 15k as you can see people are coming to these courses and they are learning and they are getting you can also use this website for yourself to improve your skills if you want to improve your designing skill whatever it is you'll find it on this page if you scroll to the bottom you'll see they have a lot of categories all right virtually everything you want to learn online is on this free it's on this website and it's absolutely free so all you need to do is click on for example let's scroll up a little bit this one which has 92,000 reviews all right so let's click on this course and then we scroll down as you can see the course has 4.5 rating out of 5 and that's pretty good and it has over 1.6 million students so which means it's a good course so we have this is how this is the type of page simple page you can create for this course all right just keeping the page as simple as possible all right so how do you create this page is the same process that i used to create the first page and the first page which is the unique store unique headset store and this page as well you can use this the same method that i use to create this page because i don't want this video to be extremely long so you can use the same method you find it find a header you place the header right and then you make a new text box put an image related to the course you want to promote right and you can see the requirement here let me show you how to get the requirement for the course as you can see if you click on the course content you can virtually copy this just copy the details of the course right as you copy the detail of the course you paste it here the course content just like i did here introduction we we'll go back to the page you can see introduction Introduction and installation, what Java is and how it works. So if you come here, introduction, what Java is and why it works. So virtually you use the collapsible method that I showed, give that I showed earlier in the video. Alright, the collapsible method is here. You click on this collapsible text and then you click on this, you click on introduction. As you can see, this is actually collapsible too, right? So all you need to do is copy the introduction. If you can copy it as it is right now, you can type it out. 
introduction and then we copy the details as it is here we want to copy that and paste it here and you want to remove this time you don't need to have that there all right so once you click out you see if you click on it it shows the details that the course has right so once you what you're going to do is the same thing you can have them click on a link to download the course so once they complete your offer they'll be redirected to udemy to download the course all right so basically that is the third method and the fourth method i'm going to show you on on how you can make stunning looking landing pages like this is is going to be this website which is type on google type on uk art deals so once you type on uk art deals you want to click on these freebies so what it actually means is this book or this that says the grill bible and you get 550 recipes so this is going to be good to promote on instagram especially because there are a lot of a lot of people who are interested in cooking food cooking recipes on instagram on pinterest and also on facebook it's going to be a good a good source of traffic for this landing page right so how did i create this landing page it's actually simple too so the same thing site.google site.new right so once you type on site.new it's going to bring it a blank page so let's click out of this all right so we don't need a header for this page as you can see i didn't use a header here all i use is just the headline of the product which if you click on it you can see all you need to do is copy copy the title and you paste it here okay as i said we don't need this header so you can click on this button to delete it and you double tap on the screen as you can see we're pasting the header in there we can also change the color if we like by lighting on the text and click on text color so i'll leave it black okay let's change it to red okay just like we have here and the same we want to download the image so i already have the image you're going to download the image you're going to upload it here you can use this method you can have it be on the side okay i think i didn't download the image but i have another option if you don't want to download the image you can just come to the image and click on copy image address you don't have to download the image then click on the image icon and you click on select image instead of upload image and you click on by url paste the image also you can search for image here if you want you can type you can type whatever you want here to search for images all right so 
so let's if you also if you have images in your google drive you can click on you can choose those images as well so we have the link of the image we want we'll paste it in there so you can see it brought it up and then we insert the image i want to click on this on crop to make it look perfect although this was not how i designed it here i put the image here but you get the point so you can design it however you like and as long as it looks clean and simple so basically you copy the text you don't need to change anything right you paste it in there so it's virtually up to you however you want to design the page this is just another method as you can see it says as you can see i didn't put it in the header you can still have you can see just type you can just copy part of this and paste that in there and click on and type free download right so you see the same thing because if you come to the website which is this uk hot uk deals .com, as you can see it says free here it's free on kindle for those who have amazon accounts all they need to do all you need to do is redirect them to this link here right so once they click on on that link to get deals you'll be brought to this page as you can see it says buy now for zero zero euros all right so which means it's absolutely free and you can you don't need to use this for only books there are a lot of other products as you can see this website is updated as you can see this was posted six hours ago so this website is up to date as you can see everything posted on this page are virtually free this is also another book here right so as it is all you just need to do is create a landing page for the visitors to go before they get to your locker and once they complete your locker they get to download this ebook for free on kindle right they have to have a kindle account but that is not a problem so once you direct them to this page you have to once they click on buy now they'll make an account and they'll get this book for absolutely free so like i said this kind of cooking recipe you can promote it on instagram on instagram on pinterest and even on facebook it will do extremely well so you can keep scrolling down until you find something that is of interest to you right so this is another secret website that most people don't know about all right and so so those are all the landing pages how do you promote this type of pages okay so i'm going to show you i'm going to show you a method that you can use to promote this page using qr codes okay so i may be pulling up the q i'll put on put the qr code on the screen right now and you can see what it looks like so as you can see the qr code they are virtually most people don't want anybody spamming them with links anymore so basically all you need to do now is instead of sending them a link you can send them a qr code all they need to do is scan the qr code and then they will be redirected to this to your landing page all right is that not interesting it is if you ask me because most people don't know most people don't use this method and if you use this method trust me you'll get a lot of a lot of people who would who would be curious to know what is on what is behind your qr code all right 
So basically you have to set up an Instagram page, right? You have to set up an Instagram page and once you have people following you and you scan, I'm going to teach you, show you how to scan, how to create a QR code like this. So you come to Google and click on QR codes, QR code monkey dot com. So after you've published your website, you don't need this home. You can erase this. All you need is just this link. Google site dot Google dot com slash view slash the name of your landing page is all you need. You can erase the home. And if you look at if we click on if we paste that here without the home it will still take us to our page as you can see you don't need to include the home everything still works perfect so now we copy this link and we paste it you come to the qr code monkey you click on the content and then you paste your landing page link there And you can customize your QR code however you want, but I think it looks good like this. I'll leave it that way. Also, you can add your logo. If you remember, I told you I told you to create a logo to make your landing page stand out. If you have a logo, but this is not necessary, you don't have to include a logo if you don't want to. So I'll leave it blank. And then that's all you need to do. Click on this. Once you're done, if you want to add your logo, you can add that. If you don't want to leave it blank, then leave it blank. Then click on create QR code. Right? So then click on download PNG. So let's click on that again. So as you can see, our QR code has been generated. So once you scan this code, once anybody in the world scan this code, they will be taken to your website. So instead of sending people links, you can just you can simply send them this QR code and they can scan it because most people won't get angry clicking on a link most people won't get angry clicking on an image as compared to clicking on a link so if you spam people with link they will actually get to complain and all that but now you are using a better strategy which is sending them a QR code and once they complete once they click once they scan the QR code they will be taken to your page in which if they click on any of your products they will be take they will be taken to your landing page where one where if they complete your offer they will be redirected to wherever you want them to be redirected to all right so for those who don't know how to create this i'll leave templates below I'll leave template to this QR code below that you can download for free. All right. And there are various ways that you can use. You can monetize QR code. The number one method, which I, which is with this method, this store, right? Once you have a store, you can link the QR code to this store and then you can follow people who like who are interested in whatever your store is about for example let's log into my instagram real quick so we are on instagram so if we search for headset you can see let's click on this for example All right, basically, as you can see, this page is about headsets. 
So all we need to do, and let me see where they link to. Okay, this person wants you to chat them up for the product, but we are not going to do that. All we are going to do is follow their followers. Because that tells us these people are interested in headset. So virtually you want to follow around 50 to 100 people per day. And I don't recommend you follow 100 people at once. You can spread it throughout the day, maybe 20 in the morning, 30 in the afternoon, and the rest in the night. So Instagram doesn't block your account. So if you do that that way, you can send them a message right instead of sending them to a link you can send them this qr code to get your your headset at 50 percent discount rate or whatever rate you want to have them for whatever product it may be all right i hope you get the point so that is how you're going to do that so the second the second method is the same with PLR as well. How to promote your PLR page using QR code is virtually the same thing. Right? You need to follow people who are interested in weight loss. All right, you need to look at pages who are interested in losing weight. So as usual, all we, who we need to follow is their followers, right? You do the same thing, just like I explained that you should do for for the for the headset, and you don't need to use only Instagram. You can do the same method on Pinterest. Follow people who are interested in this product. They are the ones who would likely click on your QR code. All right. You don't need to send them the link to your site because they'll feel you are spamming them that way. But if you send them a QR code that they can get the pre product at 50% discount rate, then that would be nice. You can all you can just do is screenshot this product, right? All you can do is screenshot this page. Once you screenshot shot this page, and then you can send an image of the QR code telling them, as you can see in the image, which says scan QR code to get 50% discount off our headset. So if you are going to be using this for this PLR, you can actually say scan the QR code to get 24 hour burner course for free. All right. So you have to be creative with your wordings, with the way you, you tell them to, to scan the code, right? Because virtually every smartphone can scan this code right so once they scan the code they will be automatically redirected to this page to your landing page okay so the third method is going to be rent looking for for a rent for a rent or lease signboard all right so this is what i mean how to get 50% of your rent and you come there are a lot of people who are interested in real estate real estate and and rentals right so if you can make a QR code and then you paste the QR code close to the signboard right I don't know if that makes sense to you but if you can put that close to a signboard and then you teach them how they can get 50% of their rental. If you know how to do that, I think this is a website that says how to do it. 
so you can come to this you can redirect them to this website right you create a landing page just as i've shown previously you can have this image on the landing page you can have this some of these put them on the landing page and then redirect them to your locker once they complete your locker you can send them to this page on how to get 50 percent of their first month rental fee right so that is the third method you can use and the fourth method which is going to be the udemy course the fourth method is going to be the udemy course right which i showed previously here is the same thing all you need to do you can look for a facebook group there are a lot of facebook group for people who are interested in in java right and programming as a whole so all you need to do is you can scan you can create a qr code for this page and then post the qr code on the facebook page for them to learn java for free and you don't have to do this for java alone like as i showed the U the udemy page previously let me show the page again you can see there are a lot of categories a lot of categories so you can choose amongst any of them that you want and then go to a facebook page or a facebook group targeting these people and then you can create a qr code and send them to that page because if you post link on facebook groups most facebook group would not approve your links right they may not approve your links but if you send them an image they are most likely going to approve an image as opposed to approving a link all right so that is the fourth method and the fifth method is going to be for the uk deals page i showed previously right it's the same method like i said you can promote this page on instagram on facebook on pinterest look for people pages for people who are interested in recipes maybe grills specifically and then post a qr code that is going to link to your landing page on the page in a creative manner of course you can tell them you found a qr code that helped you learn how to get 550 recipes for free and then you're sharing them the qr code is better off compared to sending links because most most admin would not approve a link right but if you send a qr code you have a better chance getting them to approve your qr code as opposed to approving your link your links so the next on the list is gamble predictions all right you can have them scan there are a lot of websites so these are websites that gives coupon codes or if you know any secret website that give people free betting codes all right you can direct them to such websites after they complete your locker all right there are a lot of them if you if you know how they can get free coupon codes for their betting is very easy Alright, you can go to Instagram and follow bet sites, gamble sites and all that for people who are interested in getting coupon codes to bet or whatever, or what have you. And the last on the list is pasting QR code to paintings and sculptures in museums. Right, let me show you an example of what I mean. Say if you go to a museum, right, and you find a beautiful painting such as this. I mean, 
you can paste your cube QR code, you can stick it to the to the painting just beside it, not on the painting itself. If they allow that, of course, right? You can have your QR code pasted to the painting, and your QR code is going to depend on what you want, where you want these people you directed to. Because one thing we know for sure is the people coming to view the paint, they are going to be interested in anything related to that paint. So your QR code must be related to that paint. Maybe it's going to be how they can get, the, how to learn more about that paint because obviously they are interested in that paint, in that painting, that's why they were there in the first place. So you might want to, you, you might want your QR code to redirect them to a page where they will learn more or something similar to that page. And then you content log that page. Once they complete your offer, and then you redirect them to the original page right so that will be all for this video and i might be making a part two and part three showing you more methods and more niches that you can use to make money with qr codes and google sites and i'll also be bringing out more cool landing pages real soon and also, if you watch this video to this point, I appreciate you and thanks for sticking around with me to the end. And if you're new to the channel, I make more videos about how to make money online, specifically CPA marketing. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video. You can share this video with anyone who is going to benefit from this video. All right. And to my and to those who have subscribed already, I salute you again and I appreciate your support for the channel. And I'll see you in another video.